Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another JVS review of the hit CW DC Universe show, Stargirl. So, episode 11, people. The final stretch. This is final, the final three episodes. So, this one, as we talked about last week, will be called The Shining Night. Here's the synopsis of it. Courtney life gets turned upside down with someone from her past visits Blue Valley. Pat uncovers new information about the ISA's plan. Jordan makes a surprising discovery at work. So, first thing I'm gonna tell you, we're not gonna at all get into Jordan's surprising discovery at work. It's not that surprising and something I would prefer you to watch the episode to see. Get that out of the way right there. I'm not gonna go into any of that. But the most important part of the episode is Courtney's surprise visitor to Blue Valley, which is kind of something we saw foreshadowed in, in the last episode. So it's not overly shocking who it is, but some of the ramifications of it are. So first, let me start off, and I don't normally do this, but let me start off by saying this episode of Stargirl, and I know we've I've been complimenting almost every episode of Stargirl because I'm amazed how good this show is, but from a cinematic standpoint, uh, cinematography, the shot location and things of this, this is the best episode of Stargirl for that. Like I I ended up catching it and watching it and just being amazed at some of the setups that they did in this episode. Uh, this is a very emotional episode. So normally when you get emotional episodes, um, directors tend to overdo it. But in this episode, it the touch and the, the delicate nature that the director does and you can feel it through every shot in this episode. This episode, as I was watching it, felt closer to me watching a movie than it did a television show and it kind of threw me off. So I watched it another time and I'm like, wow, like some of these shots in this episode are amazing, amazing. So uh, when y'all check this out, I need, to look, I need to know, am I crazy here <laughs> or is the way this episode is shot completely different from almost every other episode of Stargirl this season, just from the look and the feel of it. Cause that's what I felt. I felt from the look and the feel of it, that this episode was different, which kind of makes sense. If you recall the end of last week's episode with the death of Henry, of why they would go that angle of making it so more, the shots more dramatic in nature in this episode. But let's get quick into the episode. It starts off with the shining night in a field attempting to get his memory back. It is, it's not funny, but it's a little silly as he's constantly asking for a horse and the guy who owns the horse is telling him, get your crazy self out of here type thing. It, it is weird, but it does have Sir Justin, which is his name. It has him come to, uh, to realize that when he held the staff is when he remembered some stuff and it sends him out on a mission to find Pat to help get his memory back because all he can remember is Stripe C can help him possibly get his memory back. Again, it's a very short clip at the beginning of it. Just again, it always does it to set up the episode, which is also kind of weird because while the episode is called The Shining Knight, he is not the main aspect of this episode, not even remotely close to it. So it's not kind of like the early episodes where they named it out their character, then that character was the main driving force of that episode here it is named shining knight but he is far from the main driving character of this episode and after his little thing and we start the episode we get uh pat courtney and barbara in the basement as at this point it seems barbara has completely bought into everything pat was trying to tell her about the isa and what they're there to do and how they're there to destroy blue valley courtney has told both of them their brainwave has killed Henry. And it, it starts an issue of Barbara trying to decide if it's smart for her to leave this town. But if they leave this town, like they leave this town unprotected. And it's kind of a, a mother's dilemma of my child is a hero. My child can save the day, but that's my child and I don't want her to do this. It is a very interesting dynamic here with Amy Smart and how we went from her doing absolutely nothing to her being kind of the emotional driving force of these episodes as of late. So after that conversation, we get the arrival of Courtney's father. This is this is the point we've been waiting for because Courtney has 
been adamant that Starman is her father. And here we get the arrival of her real father. And I, th I think this this is what leads to the huge emotional moments in this episode because this story is the driving force of this episode of Courtney finally realizing that Starman is not her father, but also dealing with her father and why he left her and things of this nature. Again, this leads to some of Amy Smart's biggest, most emotional scenes of this entire season. And it works so well. Like, I, I'm not going to lie here. I'm a fan of Amy Smart because she's either hilarious or really good at doing soft, dramatic moments and stuff. And the whole time you're kind of wondering, like, why did we have her in Stargirl if they're not going to give her anything to do? And this is a perfect example why you have an actor of her quality in this role. And it really, really works this episode as she helps carry the emotional weight along with Courtney as the story progresses forward. And at that point, that's all it is. It's really Courtney attempting to find out everything she can about her dad while the team is trying to help Justin regain his memory. And then we have the ISA with their plans going full fledged in this episode. So it, it's a lot of moving pieces, but it's still like oh, every scene has an emotional weight to it. And it, again, it has a lot to do with Brainwave's actions at the end of the last episode, as we also get to see in this episode a scene with Brainwave and Icicle as Brainwave tells Icicle he knows who Stargirl is and he reveals to Jordan that Courtney is um, Stargirl and Pat is Stripes and that he wants to kill them all. And Jordan tells him, no, like, no, you will not kill them. And he reads Jordan's mind, which Jordan gets extremely pissed about. But then he realizes he doesn't want to kill him because Jordan has feelings for Barbara. And again, this is something we kind of always, we saw coming weeks and weeks and weeks. I don't know if we assumed that when these people were revealed to Jordan that he would actually not allow them to be killed. But that's what happens in this episode. He tells them, no, you cannot kill them. And Brainwave brings up, he's killed his wife and his son for Jordan's plan. He also reveals one of the biggest things of this episode is that when he killed Henry, Henry's powers transferred to Brainwave, making him even stronger than he was before. It's a very scary thought from the character of Brainwave that we've seen so far in this season. So um, after that, we realize that um, Shining Knight reveals to Pat as Pat is trying to jog his memory, he reveals to Pat that the only reason he's in Blue Valley is because he followed the Dragon King to Blue Valley. Then he was captured and something happened. Nothing is being revealed yet what happens, but through the course of this episode, we see uh, Shining Knight have hallucinations of the Dragon King being everywhere. And it kind of makes you wonder at this point, again, knowing the power of Brainwave, if when they caught the Shining Knight, they brainwave and plant this into him to make him crazy. I mean, it's not really far-fetched from the character of Brainwave, but it will be a pretty good setup if that's what happened to the Shining Knight. Because again, he's revealed as being the one who followed the ISA to Blue Valley. Particularly, again, the Dragon King is who he was following to stop again. So again, that helps set up something really really interesting at the end of this season but the remainder of this episode is Courtney dealing with her dad as we find out her dad is every piece of trash we thought he was in this episode again I'm not going to reveal what but it reveals that I, he's a piece of trash in this episode but the last 10 minutes of this episode one beautifully shot as I said before but the emotional weight of this last 10 minutes feels like a rebirth of a character that that possibly needed a rebirth after the end of the last episode. And it is so well done. And I'm talking about well done as if you all remember the end of Civil War, uh, Marvel Civil War with Iron Man, when he comes to the realization of everything that happened before he goes berserk and um, goes off to fight uh, Cap and Bucky. If you remember this, that, that emotional weight that was behind his character when he finally realizes everything 
that's kind of the emotional weight they put on Stargirl at the end of this episode. But it's not as dark. It's way it's lighthearted in a sense where it it's uh it's again, as I, I think I called it before, it's a rebirth of the character, and not like the total destruction of a character, but in a small particular moment. It really fits what they did with Stargirl and Iron Man. It was the, literally the first thing that popped into my head when I saw it. And I said, dude, this is this is bigger than a television show. When you see those moments being able to be pulled off on screen. And Brooke Basinger here is amazing. This, again, along with Amy Smart and this being her like showcase episode, this is a Courtney showcase episode also just the range of emotion that she has in this episode, even oh, an amazing moment with her and Pat in this episode. And then the amazing moment at the end of this episode with her and the entire family, it's it's superly touching, but it is extremely important to who Stargirl is. And I think DC has done the best job humanly possible of building out Stargirl. It, it was a slow build, but now we're, we're truly even going through all the other episodes of building up the other characters and the other villains. We get an episode that truly builds us to Stargirl and gives us that that overwhelming hero that you kind of need, including a very touching moment between her and Bob. And this is kind of a spoiler, but I think it's a highly important thing to talk about. And it's with her and Barbara as Barbara is breaking down saying, I am stuck. Do I let you fight to save this town and save innocent people? Or do I pull you away to save you? And if I let you fight, it's a chance I'm going to lose you forever. It is a gut-wrenching moment for a mom to have to even think of the nature of their child doing something like that. And again, it works so, so well. I, I don't know what else to say. I want you all to check out the episode. Let us know what you think about it, the way it's shot, the acting in this episode, uh, Amy, Luke, the way they elevated in this episode, even Mike, they even gave Mike a little moment. But again, it, it this is clearly a Barbara and Courtney led episode with the shining night and him getting his memory back, playing a key role moving forward in this series. So this has been another JVS review of Star Girl episode 11, Shining Night, which drops Monday on DC Universe, Tuesday on CW. Check it out. Let us know what you think. Peace, people.